really believe yeah. this course requires sacrifice of all you really hold dear. In one sense, this is true. For you hold dear the things that crucify God's Son. And it is the course's aim to set him free. But do not be mistaken about what sacrifice means. It always means the giving up of what you want. And what, O oh teacher of God, is it that you want? You have been called by God, and you have answered. Would you now sacrifice that call? Few have heard it as yet, and they can but turn to you. There is no other hope in all the world that they can trust. There is no other voice in all the world that echoes God's. If you would sacrifice the truth, they stay in hell. And if they stay, you will remain with them. Do, 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 do. That's a heavy paragraph. <laughs> well, thank God, the real, you know, it's like answering this call really doesn't sacrifice anything of value. I'm thrilled. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we get all the happiness and joy and love and joining and peace and laughter that we ever wanted. That's what we really wanted. That's what we wanted. And like you said, uh, Bonnie, before, people might not, uh, might not understand, what we're doing is not, uh, what's it called when you let go of the things of the world, turn into the monks and stuff, you know. Renounce, yeah, you're not, we're not renouncing the world in the Course's terms. We're just taking our belief it's going to bring happiness. Now you can have all these things, but you don't really think your happiness is going to come from that guy or that job or where you live or what, how much money you have. These are just the, this is just the illusion, and these are just things here that you can enjoy, but you're not attached to them as something that's going to bring you peace. What your focus is on is the call of God to be a teacher of God and to give forgiveness, right? So this isn't about having to let go of all that stuff out of sacrifice, like most people would have thought. It's just turning it neutral. That's where we're going. We're going from high gear to neutral. And now we're not going, we're not going against it. You see the other one, you're going high gear the other way. No, we're just going, we need to make this neutral. Whatever's going on in my life is just what's going on. It's nothing terribly right, terribly wrong. Good, not good, not bad. Just just what's happening. It's just helpful. Yeah. You know, having a car, having a place to live, having a place to sleep, it's warm. Yeah. It helps us to do our work. Yeah. And when you're, like the section we read where you're guided by the Holy Spirit, then you're going to be in the house, or you're going to be in the, mm -hmm. where, it's, that's where you are right now, because that's where you're best able to serve, and, and it, mm -hmm. it's irrelevant mm -hmm. if it's, what it, what it is, because it's not really what's important. Doesn't that make sense? And that's why he says you won't have a sense of care because you're not attached to this stuff anymore. Um, Judy. Ju Judy? Do not forget. Do not forget that sacrifice is total. There are, there are no half sacrifices. You cannot give up heaven partially. You cannot be a little bit in hell. The word of God has no exceptions. It is this that makes it holy and beyond the world. It is its holiness that points to God. It is its holiness that makes you safe. It is denied if you attack any brother for anything. For it is here the split with God occurs. A split that is impossible. A split that cannot happen yet. A split in which you surely will believe because you have set up a situation that it is impossible. And in this situation, the impossible can seem to happen. It seems to happen at the sacrifice of truth. And, okay. Ooh, we have one more paragraph. We don't have time to read it. Can you read it fast? Okay. Teacher of God, do not forget the meaning of sacrifice and remember what each decision you make must mean in terms of cost. Decide for God and everything is given you at no cost at all. Decide against him and you choose nothing at the expense of the awareness of everything. What would you teach? Remember only what you would learn, for it is here that your concern should be. Atonement is for you. 
Your learning claims it, and your learning gives it. The world contains it not, but learn this course and it is yours. God holds out his word to you, for he has need of teachers. What other way is there to save his son? Ooh, nice.